Hello everyone, this is Karmanya, Asterix Code and I am going to present you this video solution of the problem A stable arrangement of rooks This is from the contest Hello 2020 This is the first contest which is held every year As you can see I am able to solve only the first problem As you can see It's not only me It's just you can see the submissions for the first problem It's only 13,000 for the first and only two thousand and thousands for the se second and third so the level is as usually um, difficult so let's start right away with the problem statement so you have a n cross n chess board and k rooks okay the rows of this chess board are numbered by the integers one to n from top to bottom and the columns of this chess board are numbered by integers from one to n from left to right so this is a normal chess board in which the rows are numbered from 1 to n, 1, 2, 3, 4, just like that. And the columns are uh, also numbered in the same way, starting from left to right. Okay, the cell x, y is the cell on the intersection of row x and column y for each x ranging from 1 to n and each y ranging from 1 to n. So for each row, starting from this, this is, so x, y is just a coordinate of the cell of intersection. Okay, the arrangement of rooks on this board is called good if no rook is beaten by another rook. <laughs> so, I um, will uh, see this statement. Okay, you know how a rook works. Rook is just like a hathi in Hindi which we say. And uh, so the good arrangement of rooks in this board is called not stable. Mind this word, not stable. If it is possible to move one rook to the adjacent cell so that the arrangement becomes not good okay otherwise the good arrangement is stable okay 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 so uh, what this statement is this is quite confusing statement i'll just explain right away what they are going to say okay suppose this is a chess board mind the drawing please okay this is one section of the chess board okay and i have my one rook here and suppose one of my rook is present here so initially the configuration is good initially it is good okay initially i'll write initially 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 it is good because these rooks cannot um, uh, beat each other okay so in the in the next step what will happen is uh, we can any one of the two players suppose there are two players one is here one is here so any of the two players can move one of these rooks to the adjacent cell and this rook might get defeated after that okay so in the next turn one of the player can move the rooks from one cell to one of its adjacent cell whether it can go here it can go here 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 or in any of the four directions okay any of the four directions so we can move in any of the four directions and then the arrangement will not be good now this arrangement becomes not good so what this statement is uh, telling this statement is telling the same thing initially even if the uh, arrangement of the rooks is good it is called not stable if it is possible to move one of the rook to the adjacent cell so the arrangement becomes not good okay Otherwise, the good arrangement is stable. Here, adjacent cells are the cells that share the sides. These are the adjacent cells. Suppose this is the cell and these four are the adjacent cells to it. So, um, I hope you have understand the statement. So, in one uh, move, any one of the two players can move one of their rooks to the adjacent cells and they might defeat each other. Okay. Like in this case, if I move here and this one will be defeated. Okay. So please find any stable arrangement of k rooks on n cross n chess board and report that there is no such arrangement. So I'll start right away with the um, one observation. So let's start with the observation. So this is the observation. Okay. What I observe is, see, let me draw a chess board. I'll take a small board, four cross four. So uh, how many rooks can we place? And how will we place uh, the rooks in if we want to achieve the maximum number of uh, rooks which we can place? What I try to say is, so we can only place rooks in the diagonals, right? In the diagonals. We can only place them in the diagonals. If we have to arrange maximum number of rooks in a 
चेस बोर्ड इज इट सो नो नो यू कैन प्लेस इट लाइक दैट बट यू कैन नॉट प्लेस इन एनी ऑफ द सेम कॉलम यू कैन नॉट प्लेस इट हेयर डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन नॉट प्लेस इट हेयर बिकॉज देयर दे दिस अरेंजमेंट इज नॉट गुड राइट वी हैव टू अरेंज द रूक्स विच इज विच इज गुड इन द अरेंजमेंट राइट इन द स्टार्टिंग वी हैव अ गुड अरेंजमेंट ऑफ रूक्स सो दिस इज अ गुड अरेंजमेंट ऑफ रूक्स वी ओनली हैव टू अरेंज दैम इन द डाइगनल ओके नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट टर्न एज अकॉर्डिंग टू स्टेटमेंट वन ऑफ द प्लेयर्स कैन मूव टू द एडजेंट प्लेयर्स एंड दिस अरेंजमेंट विल नो लॉन्गर वी गुड राइट दिस अरेंजमेंट विल नो लॉन्गर वी गुड सो इन ऑर्डर टू ओवरकम दैट there is we have to just remove the rooks from one of the adjacent cells right is it so because if the arrangement is like this and there is one empty there is one empty block in between there is an empty block between then another rook then there is another empty block in between so is, uh, will that be the answer you can like uh, check this with another uh, other observations too and this is the final answer okay we have a rook here and we have an empty row we have another rook then another here then we have another empty row so it works like that okay so it's just a simple observation there is only one observation in this and if you want to see the code you can see it yeah so what i have done is i have taken n comma k and is the number of rows and k is the number of rooks then i have taken previous equal to 0 pre what is previous previous is actually uh, taking care of whether i have taken the rook in the previous row or not okay this is the ith loop this ith loop is for the rows and this uh, jth loop in my uh, code will be for the columns so the i is for the rows and j is for the column these two loops are for the rows and columns so there is a check simple check if k is greater than n plus 1 by 2 then i print minus 1 what is n plus 1 by 2 suppose there are 4 by 4 board so n will be 4 and n plus 1 by 2 will be 2 so if k is greater than 2 because in python n plus 1 by 2 is 5 by 2 why i have taken this in case of odd number of integers suppose there is a 5 cross 5 board there is a 5 cross 5 chess board right and so uh, in 5 cross 5 there is uh, one row here and there is one column here right this is a 4 cross 4 and this is a 5 cross 5 so how many i can place i can place in here here and here so answer will be 3 so this is a simple implementation so it will be 6 by 2 that is 3 Right, six by two. That is three. I hope you understand it. Then, uh, if i is j, then I just flip the previous. Initially, I have taken previous as zero. So whenever i is equal to j, so the first block will be uh, uh, this one, and in this one here, the pre the value of previous will be flipped. Right, value of previous will be flipped, and it will be converted to one. so i have then checked uh, another if i is equal to j and i have the k uh, what is k k is the number of rooks remaining which i have to place okay and if this flag is also true then print r uh, like if you can see 3 comma 2 so i have printed 3 on the first row and first column and for other two i have just printed the dots and just decrement the k which is the number of rooks left and in the else part just print the dot and this is a simple implementation this is for the you can say this is for the next line okay this is for the next line yeah and this uh, previous is for the uh, this is a flag for preventing adjacency you can say it like that adjacency in the diagonal right i hope you understand it this is the first problem and this is the only doable problem for a beginner yeah not a beginner i will say it's a even it's an intermediate level thing see man it's already half time passed and only 13000 for this and 3000 for this only <laughs> there's a massive 10000 people gap between first and second problem so doesn't matter i will bring the video solutions of problem b as well as problem c i i tried c a lot 
tried this problem a lot this is an uh, interactive problem i will definitely bring it solution till then peace out and please subscribe to this channel this channel asterisk code i want to see those numbers increasing okay <laughs> please <laughs> bye bye